In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to correct misspellings in Dolly 3 generated images. If you've been using Dolly 3 to generate images from text over the past couple of weeks since Dolly 3 was introduced, one of the things that you've probably noticed if you've been creating images that have any text in them is that more often than not, there are misspellings and misspellings in Dolly 3 generated images are one of the most frustrating things ever because oftentimes the images that are created are really beautiful. And if you try to regenerate the image and instruct Dolly 3 to review its work for misspellings and correct the misspellings, it's really difficult to get it to actually produce the exact image that you want with no misspellings. Fortunately, with Canva's release of their new AI-based Magic Studio, their AI image editing software, you can correct misspellings in Dolly 3 generated. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And we could probably do it in 60 seconds or less. So what I'm going to do is start off by taking a Dolly 3 generated image I'm going to download it to my computer, go into Canva. I'm going to click the social media designs. And for today's purposes, just click a blank Instagram square design. The first thing that you want to do is take your actual image, upload it into Canva, resize it. And then make sure your image is selected. In order to get access to the Magic Studio tools that Canva's released, select your image, click Edit Photo. And really nicely here at the top, Canva's put all of the brand new Magic Studio tools for us to use. Today, we're going to use Grab Text. It's one of my favorite new tools that they've released. All you have to do is click Grab Text, and Canva's going to do its work in the background. It's going to use its AI based tools to detect text in the image. And how you know it's worked is that this is what the result looks like. It selected the text with a purple or, or pink box or pink outline. And you can go in, double click, delete or correct the word that's misspelled. And voila, we have a perfectly spelled birthday card. Now then you can do some fine tuning here. Like for example, one of the things that we wanna get back is this little curve that's nice. So if I scroll down here, I can fix the curve. So now we have that curve back in there. It fits the kind of the shape of this little white text box here. You can change the color too, if you want. You can make the color whatever color you want. It can be a color from the image. We can use the dropper tool to select one of the colors of the balloon here. So now we have happy birthday and we've corrected the misspelling. So this is one of the most common complaints of Dolly 3 is that some, when it generates text in the image, sometimes it's wrong, sometimes it's misspelled. And until now it's been really hard to actually correct. So let's, let's do another example. This is a birthday card that Kristen Carter, one of our fearless group leaders created. And this was a birthday card for one of her ops directors at her firm. And there is this really just annoying misspelling here. Now, of course, we could use Photoshop or use a, you know, a tool on our phone to blur this out and, and change the text. And, and there's a lot of really cumbersome ways that you could correct this text. Fortunately, this text here is against a very solid background, but it would be a lot more difficult to correct the text using a rudimentary tool if the background was a gradient. So that's when you would want to use this grab text tool in Canva. So I'm going to just do this again. I'm going to ask Canva to grab the text out of this image to layer it up for us, pull it out and voila, it's pulled it out. So now we can go in, we can change that misspelling there. We can delete that I, we can go in, we could even change the font. I mean, you can do anything to this font that you would do to any other font. We're going to choose Chloe here. We've got this nice, beautiful, big, bold, happy birthday. And if you've been looking closely, you've noticed that there's also some text down here in the license plate. There's this random license plate. And, and since she's an ops person, we can just type in ops boss and that can be her new license plate. So let's reduce this a little bit so it fits within there. So now voila, we actually have something that could be delivered as either a nice touch point to a client or, you know, it's just a gesture to a friend, happy birthday. And we don't have any misspellings to worry about. So that's one of the things that I love about this new magic studio that Canva has released is, and I, th I think that we're just tip hitting the tip of the iceberg here in terms of the functionality of this tool. And one of the things that's fantastic is that this is all within an ecosystem that all of us as real estate agents are pretty familiar with. A lot of us have been using Canva for many years now, initially just to do flyers. And then 
probably social media posts. And now we can actually use it to get another level of functionality out of some of these tools that we're using. And again, all this is AI based. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or wonderments, feel free to comment. Um, if you're not already a member of the group you're, and you're not watching this through the group and you want to learn more, we have a Facebook group called ChatGPT and AI Mastermind for Real Estate. It's for any type of real estate professional. We're all focused on learning and leveraging AI in our businesses. We'd love to have you. That's all for today. Hope this was helpful. See you guys soon.